Can you run for prediction, election, Christians are around the world? I don't want to be in a what, what uh, election. My friend, uh, we need to make a revolution inside our houses so we can understand what the problem and then all of you can do something, not me. Not me alone, you know. A person alone, he can do nothing. But always, if you don't defend your land, you have no land. If you don't defend your honor, you have no honor. Very simple. And if the Biden and the garbage of Biden, they try to take your rights from you, if you don't resist, they will take it. Why not? You know, it's all just about, uh, you know, who defend his right, who do not. Like, you know, the Christians in the Middle East, the Muslim, they took their land. 1400 years. What the stupid priests in the Middle East did? They told them Jesus taught us to love everybody. You cannot fight and get the land back. So who is the criminal? The priest. Our priest. They are the biggest scumbag ever. 1400 years, not a single revolution against the Muslim occupation. When the Muslims came to the Middle East at that time, they were small in number. The majority are the Christians. Our priests, and I call them scumbags, they forbid any Christian from doing any military action against the Muslims. So we have another enemy who is our priest. Such a priest should not be allowed to be in a church. A person who take your land, this is not what the Christ said. Turning the cheek has nothing to do with war between two nations. That is not what the Bible says, right? <clears throat> in fact, you know, Israel, the reason Israel is still exists now, because they are fighting back. If not, they will be gone a long time ago. Trust me, the, the Muslim will be happy to slaughter every single Jew overnight. They will be like, this is the best party for them. So some false Christians, they take a verse from the Bible and they try to make you uh, believe that you are a sinner if you defend yourself. You know, uh, and we, we spoke about this before. Imagine somebody coming to rape your wife and uh, you, you say to him, uh, oh, you listen, you want to rape my wife? What about my daughter too? The other cheek. <laughs> this is a very false understanding of what Jesus taught and what Christianity is about. 